guys, it's Deanna from All Day Everyday Mom. In this video, I'm sharing with you some of my favorite math games. A few requests to share more of our favorite things. So I'm starting off this series with our favorite math games. Up first is a recent purchase that I just got from Amazon and it's called Smack It. We love this game. Everybody in the family can play. It's a great game for teaching numbers. Uh, basically, you throw the cards out and you want to hit the card that says smack it. And then there's also a challenge card where you try to see who gets the higher number. As the kids are playing the game, you want them to call out the numbers. The first person to hit the smack it card gets all of the cards. The object is to get the most cards and end up with the being the only person that has cards left. So it's a fast game. We like to play it right after dinner, play it on the floor or the table, whatever. Two player game, I think it's up to seven players. Great way for me just to teach them how to count and also who doesn't like slapping things on the table? Like my boys go crazy for it. Another card game that we love is Dutch Blitz. Now we went home for the summer, um, spent the summer in Ohio with family and my brother and his kids actually introduced us to this game. And their ages range from 14 to six and they all can play this game. At first, it's a little overwhelming, trying to understand where the cards go and what you're supposed to be doing and looking here and looking there, but it's super fun once you get the hang of it. I'm still trying to teach my boys, but my daughter and I play all the time, and the boys, of course, they wanna learn how to play, so I'm teaching them how to play. It's full of numbers and um, order and paying attention and, <laughs> just grabbing cards as fast as you can and placing them down as fast as you can. So it's super fun game. You can order this off of Amazon as well. And I'll leave all these links below for you guys. This has been a favorite since I was a kid. So I had to pick this up a couple years ago for my boys when they were just learning how to count. Um, but there are ways you can make this game a little more difficult if you want to. Basically, you're spinning the spinner and adding the cherries or taking the cherries away. My boys still love to play this. I still pull this out every now and then, but this you can definitely get um, at Walmart for just a few dollars. It's really fun. Big game. I don't know if you can see it. Um, I picked up a few years ago for my daughter. It's called Don't Blow the Budget. So it has this big activity board with uh, just numbers and items that they can purchase and you can give them a budget um, or they have ideas in here that you can use to kind of um, make it different, uh, make it for different age levels. It's for ages eight and up, but I love doing this with my daughter. I basically give her a budget and then she has to go through and pick the things that she wants. Like um, if I say we're going on vacation, so you need items to take with you on vacation. Uh, you're moving into your first apartment. What are the things that you need? For day one and so she can go through the little cards with the prices and, and things like that and then add them up here so it's a great way to teach budget and money management and we'll be doing more of this um, this year with all of my kids so the last few balance beads so I love these bags I got these bags from the container store because we have so many games I'm trying to save space so I just cut off the top of the box for this and taped it on here and then you can put the games inside. So balance beans, I love this. I love this first of all because it's a one player game. So it's easy to super hard. So even adults can play this game. My daughter had a hard time yesterday. I made her do like hard and super hard cards only. And she was like, I couldn't get it to stop moving. So basically you want to Look at the card and on it, it tells you what pieces you can use and you need to balance the beam only using those pieces. And so on the back, it gives you the answer. So you just wanna make sure the card stays down, let the kids try a few times and if they get frustrated and you can just flip it over and show them the solution or you can help them try to figure it out. Okay, so I have two new games that we haven't played yet, but I wanna show you guys these games anyway and then I'll give you an update on how we're liking them. The first one is Smath, I've already cut this one up so I can't show you the box. And Smath, the object of the game is to be the player to score the most points by making true math statements, equations, to win. Hmm, so we'll see. 
We'll play this over the next few weeks and let you guys know. This one is make seven. So you only get numbers one, two, three, and you need to make seven out of it. So this is for ages seven and up. So we'll try this one also, and then I'll let you guys know. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any math games that you love, leave it below in the comments so that we all can check them out. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.